Hey everyone! Good morning! Yeah, that's, they always do that. Good morning! Hi everyone! Oh, Owen's here. It's his birthday. There he is, Owen. I'll get you on the video. Back up. Back up. Say happy birthday. Happy birthday, everyone. I mean, Owen is awake. He woke up just for this. Uh, he's got the day off of school, so we are going to celebrate his birthday by going to lunch and doing some fun things um, with him. So that's fun. So he woke up early so that he could say hello to you all. I, mean, I, I just woke up early because I'm used to school. Oh, yeah, you used to school. Okay, yeah, that's right. So um, he is 16 years old today, 16. I cannot hardly believe it. He's going to probably be, uh, he's probably going to be, uh, hey, Owen, mm -hmm. pick up, pick up um, Lola. Lola? Lola. Lola. So everybody can see Lola. Um, yeah, he's going to be 16. So he's going to be driving soon. Uh, I think I've told you that. Uh, <laughs> Lola's under my desk, but I want you to see uh, see her and how adorable she is. Look at, go over there. Yay, everybody's saying happy birthday. Put her head up higher. That's Lola, the little, the little troublemaker. Lola. Hi, Lola. Hi, pretty girl. Yeah, good girl. All right. She's kind of calm actually and she hasn't had her medication now for a couple of days so we'll see what happens yeah, during the show drugs. um thank you for all the birthday wishes oh and say thank you Duncan. yeah so we're gonna get um we're gonna get going on our actually i did not plan this but we're making a uh we're making a pop-up night it's a, called all right, all right. Why is she barking now? Uh, make a wish. I used some Hello Kitty paper, and it is a pop up um, cupcake, pop up cupcake with a. No. Sorry if the lighting kind of does that because I close the door and I don't want to hear them back. Yeah. I know. Yeah, so he's closing the front door. The dogs sit at the front door, and that's why they, when they bark, is they sit at the front door and bark at people going by. But I don't think there's much going on today outside. The trash came yesterday and all of that. So anyway, um, so today we're going to make, I guess in honor of Owen turning 16, um, a pop-up birthday cupcake card and i added a sentiment and a few special touches yes lola lola her name was lola she was a showgirl yeah i can't sing on the on the thing so there is the envelope and this is another one of those square cards they're, um, they're not all square cards, but the one we made with the hot air balloon was square. And then coming up, the snowflake one is square. I don't think that the dragon one is square. No, it's not. So we have, let's see, it's Wednesday. We only have a couple more days for the week. Um, and so we're going to try to squish as much in. I think this Friday we will take a break from our freebie Friday so that we can add another card into the mix. Cause I want to make, I still want to make the snowflake, the, uh, dragon and what's the other one? The Christmas tree. Although I did see Melody Lane's presentation of the Christmas tree that she turned into a Halloween tree and that was really cute. So if you are um, interested in the Christmas tree and you just can't wait for me to do it, go check out her video. Um, and she did one that was like a, a Halloween type of thing that it's still the same assembly, just different colors and everything. Okay, um, before we get going, I wanted to tell you that we still have a few days left for our Bundle of Joy giveaway. I'm going to put the description in the video. All you have to do to, um, to get entered is, sorry, we go to YouTube. Here's my YouTube, okay? 
So when I log into YouTube.com, here it is. And then here's me, because this is my YouTube channel over here. And actually, I have... I have several YouTube, well, I have several Google accounts. That's how you, you create this. Go to Google Mail or Gmail and create a Gmail account. And you can point it towards your AOL account or something, whatever you want to do. But um, you can uh, have one. And then here I am going to switch my, um, here I am, Cricket Chat. And this is my YouTube channel, if I can get there. Hey, by the way, uh, uh, SVG, no, 3D SVG, Dreaming Tree came out with some brand new, um, some uh, brand new jointed uh, little Halloween things that I have to do. I don't just want to do them. I have to do them. So I think that we'll probably do those, uh, this Saturday night. Okay. Um, yeah, believe it or not, there are people that still have AOL accounts. They're mostly, uh, like boomers. <laughs> I have a friend who has one and I constantly tease her about it. But then I realized I also have a Yahoo account and everybody these days has Gmail. I think there was also one of like MSN or Microsoft or something like that too. So there you go. Um, and so, yeah, the new Dreaming Tree bundled. So we'll go hop on over there because I want to take a look at it. I saw the preview um, this morning uh, when I was watching my programs in the morning. And this is the new free gift. And don't you know, it also has a pretty cute uh and it's a cutesy thing but i love these posable uh figures there's a pumpkin and a witch um and then this here i think maybe what, what i might do is um is consolidate one group um, make the pumpkin witch and the skeleton together so we'll have three posable um characters so I think we'll do that on Saturday and I will post links for for that so this is how this works with a free gift is that you go there if you want this free gift you would shop their site and find some things that they um, have that you don't do not have now you can buy the free gift uh, outright if you don't think you can find any files here but there are quite a few files and they have quite a lot of autumn christmas ha halloween and thanksgiving and so you would fill your cart with nine dollars and 99 cents and then you put the coupon code free gift all one word into your so you have to do it um as you're checking out and then you put free gift in to your um to your carriage what is it called book bag your bag and then you when you you'll get it for free it will just put it in there and subtract it out so you don't get paid for uh, don't get charged for it so <laughs> yeah verizon aol msn i don't know if outlook was really a thing but um yeah so anyway, um, let's talk about this cupcake. Now I found this cupcake uh, in Design Space and here is the uh, Design Space file. I did make a few modifications to my, um, to my file that I want to show you um about so i i did cut the envelope for this because it was a square envelope and this is a really good envelope to have if you have uh square cards or if you'd like to make um square cards so that we just put that aside but here is um the card and as we've talked about um you know these things are for the inside so you can choose whatever color don't pick white just choose something. I chose this uh, Hello Kitty, and it came from this Hello Kitty Celebrations Deluxe Paper. This is a Cricut product, Hello Kitty Celebrations Deluxe Paper. I think it's 12 sheets. I got it for for like 3 or $4. That was pre 
coupon. Um, it was on sale. It's really cute, and it all of this paper cuts really well on the uh, on the Explore or Maker. So check out right now. There's a sale. There's a sale every every day. Um, it seems. Oh, you don't get them. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, it's coming. I I think it's coming in the UK. So don't don't be too upset about it. So um. So I used the Hello Kitty, but even with the Hello Kitty, I thought that the outside of the card needed a little something, you know. So um, I decided to look for something that coincided with this uh, cutout for a cupcake, and I chose Make a Wish. And I'm going to show you where I found that, and it's a really cute. Um, and actually, it's from the image set that we talked about. Yesterday, it's called Wild Card. So I'm going to the image sets and I'm choosing Wild. I'm just typing Wild Card and we should have two. Wild Card, or the original and Wild Card 2. And when you click on this, uh, take your time, please, by all means. <laughs> okay, so when you click on this um, and you sort of scroll past the, the font, um, you will see all of these different, so this miles above the rest, is that what we used for the, um, for the balloon card? I can't remember. Um, yeah, maybe. Um, and then there was make a wish, so I chose make a wish. Um, where is it? Oh, this is a cute one. Miss your face, a treat for you. That would work. Um, let's see. You're a fox. I don't think anybody uses that anymore. Thanks a bunch. Home is where you are. Here it is. Make a wish. All right. Now, the cool thing about this uh, image set is that there are also cards that coincide with those names. They're not just like these quirky little, uh, um, sayings and, and a bunch of just saying but um there are ones that go there so like this one says wish you with ewe we're here and there's a uh a what you call it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. a lamb a sheep on on the card Okay, so that's this is a, a great little um, card set that often gets overlooked. It's one of the oldies, but it's a goodie. So have a look at that and you can find some awesome, awesome uh, things to play around with. I love to mix it up. I love all the new images, but I love the old ones too. And so I often will... Um, Ma do a mashup or something they call it now I think mashup anyway when you bring it in you are going to need to resize it so here I'm resizing it and then I'm going to use my my lovely color sink up here and you see the color sink down here there's these four colors are only from the make a wish thing so then I can kind of move these pieces into uh eh, yeah make a wish let's see where should the wish be I guess here and when I do that the colors change over here so I can have a look and I realize that this one's not going to look good so let's turn it there and I think that looks good. We got a yellow, we've got pink, and the the background card is I actually cut this out in seafoam green because I hate this color pink. Oh my god, I don't know why they choose the for the pink, but anyway, I do not like it. Sam I am. So um then we're just going to cut it out and using the paper that we need to. There's uh there's nothing really new from yesterday. So if you didn't catch yesterday, this might be a good one. Except that all right, this the inside parts of the card, which for me was this Hello Kitty stuff is on the same page as my cupcake. And I don't want that because I want to cut out my Hello Kitty 
uh, paper for this. So I have to go and change the color of this, which I will do here. Okay. And then when I go to make it, you will see that there's our cupcake all right there, all of our pieces. And then this is uh, the the wrap around the cupcake wrapper and then these are two pieces to making the cupcake um, and then you so there's seven mats including the envelope um, but you can use your scraps for a lot of these the yellow the brown especially the teeny tiny orange so go in your scrap pile and use scraps for that you could also use uh vinyl if you really wanted to it's not you know whatever you want to do so this is uh, the same setup as yesterday so I'm not going to go into it but remember that there are some that you will have to use both the scoring and the pen on okay so I have laid out I want to make sure you get this whole thing so I've laid out all the pieces for the inside you might get a little overwhelmed but don't it's really once you kind of get the hang of it it's really not a bad um, put together and especially if you did that heart one from yesterday okay so um, there are where's my other oh I'm looking for my where where is it yikes well, I can't put this together if I don't have those pieces. Well, looks like we're going to have to make those pieces because I won't be able to put this together. I need the piece that, um, do you ever do this where you, like, you cut everything out and then you can't find a piece? So I need these pieces. I'm going to ungroup. So if this happens to you, like it's happening to me, you can either group everything and then just turn it off which is what I do I I only need those pieces so I'm just grouping it this is just me being lazy I guess and I don't need the envelope right now but I just need that little tiny piece that is uh, on the bottom that holds the cupcake right so let's go ahead and make it and so I can cut out I just need that that piece so I eliminated most of the stuff but I don't even have to cut all four of them I'm just going to cut out those two pieces because I need them so I'll get a piece of paper and we'll cut that out while I'm talking so that I can uh, explain to you. I have been cutting these on medium card sock setting. Um, and the only thing I use for intricate cut is the, uh, what do you call it? The sentiment, just because there's a lot, it's pretty small. Um, but you can also use the intricate cut settings. Let's go ahead and cut that. So, um, all right, back down here. Ha <laughs> ha. So these are all the cupcake pieces. Um, and here are all, is like kind of like the, the, the actual cake part of it. And the, these are going to end up being the frosting. Okay. And then you have these extra pieces that are um, the candles and the little flame. And then this piece ends up being the one that, um, of course, of course, sorry, my, of course, my, <laughs> oh man, you guys. I'm a goober. Of course, I didn't put the piece of paper on there very good, and it started moving all around. Did that ever happen to you? Happens to me all the time. That's why I love the pause button. So I can pause it, take it out, and restart it, uh, which is what it was doing. Go on, little machine. Do your thing. Um, okay, so, uh, so, and this is the wrapper that hides the, you know, hides the workings of it. So to start off with, we're not going to use the these little just yet I mean I mean we could uh, if we really wanted to but but we don't have to do it right just yet uh, for the for the candles and then we're going to start off with these four pieces these are 
aside. So you see that the cupcake is cut out and written on and there's like the swirl in the frosting and they're opposite and that's because they're going to be uh, back to back. And so when you look at the cupcake on the front or the back, you'll see that swirl of frosting. The same holds true for this one. This is uh, the brown one and this is how they actually cut out. So there's the swirl and there's the swirl. So they're gonna get cut out opposite because we do need, um, we do need, yay. We do need to uh, kind of give that visual effect of the, of the uh, cupcake. All right, so these two pieces, they're actually get covered up um, but they're the main elements here. So we're going to start with uh, this. Yeah, we're going to start with this. <laughs> you know, I put this together this morning and I'm like, I need to get my story straight. All right, here we go. So we are going to take these two pieces and then this piece like this going in the second slot on there. Same with, did I do this right? Yeah, same with this. So we have the two pieces, they're facing out where the writing is. And then you have this piece here that's gonna hold them together, you see? Then we're gonna turn it around and do the same thing with the second one of these and put it in the correct slot so that you don't have a, like kind of a movement there, all right? So here we go, I'm putting it in this correct slot. This does take appreciation for patience. So do, uh, don't do shove it because if you bend these pieces, um, it, it could cause a problem, okay? So then I'm keeping in mind where the uh, icing is and I'm going to put my uh, cake part. Don't worry about the brown, it'll be covered but it's just so that you can see that it is actually a cupcake and not just a frosting cake. <laughs> Ooh, wouldn't that be nice? I love cupcakes. You know, Owen didn't want a cake. I couldn't talk him into a cake, probably because he knew that I would be the only one that would eat it. He likes cake though. He's trying to look trim. He's trying to look trim. And he, he's grown quite a bit. He's so tall. Holy cow, I don't know where he got that from. Not my family. Uh, not my family at all. <laughs> I'm actually the tallest one in my family. <laughs> and I'm not that tall. Okay, so here we go. We're going to have these four pieces, you see. And then these two that, that are, I'm going to show you in all different angles. So this is what it's going to look like. And then there is the front, you see. Now there are still slits here at the top, right? And that's when these pieces come in, okay? And you'll notice that they have, right here, they have a little score. You can score them before you put them on. Just score them at the correct score line. All right, and now these are going to go on top of like the cupcake, pink cupcake piece, okay? So, now um, I thought, ooh, wouldn't this look cute in glitter paper? But then I thought with all of these um, slits, it might be kind of difficult, you know, because it's supposed to open and close fairly smoothly. So, um, I dispensed with the glitter paper pretty quickly. All right, so we turn it around, and then we're going to take the second one of these, the one that has that it has like a, two little arms, one's bigger than the other, and we're going to slide it in here and here. Make sure it's in all of those slots. Like that. Okay, so this is what you should end up seeing. So you have these like the the um, the larger like arm, let's call it, and a smaller arm. And 
on the opposite side, large or smaller. And then here on the bottom, you have your two tabs that's going to anchor it in place, okay? And then we just simply have one more to put in, and then we have some decorative items. So this is a um, the part where you put the candle in, and uh, let's see. We're just going to put a little tiny bit of glue here that's a little bit too much. And what did I do with my, I don't know. I had it the other day. I'm like, woo, I found it. My, my pick them up piece thing, but I'll do it this way. And it's kind of cut weird. So just be aware of that. That's again for the frosting bit. Okay. And then we put this here and there is actually also an orange thing you could cut this out of glitter that would be kind of fun um but of course i don't i didn't save that i did cut it out but all right and where's the other flame it was just here did i drop it Ah, oh, poo. Okay, pretend it's there. Um, and here's what it ends up looking like. See that? Okay. Then we're going to take our piece and we're just simply going to slide it in like this. Now you have a very sturdy piece that can fold. Make sure it can fold either way, just like this. All right, and then we're going to take our little arms or whatever you want to call them and we're going to fold them in and glue them together. It will kind of solidify the cupcake uh, a little bit. So you can either do it like this while it's folded, which I find to be easiest, <laughs> but um, or you can do it while it's not folded. But let's do it folded because we want it to be able to uh, open and close with ease. So once we get that closed, all right, still checking. Okay, it still opens and closes. I didn't give this enough time to glue. Okay. So open and close, having a little problem I see right here. So why? Okay, and then the last thing is these two pieces that will cover the um, frosting. So they go in on that fold where you, um, where you just glued them together. It goes right on that fold, put a little bit of glue there and match the pieces up to the brown piece. Flip it over. See what I'm talking about where the fold is? And flip it over and then match this one. All right, to uh, this. And then you are done with the inside of the cupcake you see that you're done with the actual workings of the cupcake so there we go that's what it looks like from the bottom so if yours doesn't look like that sort of honeycomb structure then you're going to have a problem and um, you may need to start over again <coughs> okay the covering has score lines so there are uh, there are four score lines here one two three four and this is going to go around the uh, cupcake but I'm not going to put it on just yet and then I'm just going to take this one piece this is the piece where the cupcake's going to get anchored and I'm going to fold it here this is actually where the card fold line is so we can take our our um, cupcake and sort of tuck in those legs that we had so here are the legs coming out the back all right see that that's the way it's supposed to look. And we're gonna glue these in place. Glue 
glue, glue, glue. And it's best to try to get this all evened up because we do want it to close. But you, the first couple of times, you might have to train it a little bit because of that glue, all right? And then we can put this on. And by the way, this you can put a little bit of glue on or you can just put the tab in there. So let me do that without glue for this time around. See if that works better. All right, stick that in there. Come on, go in there. All right. So that's the inside piece. And you know what, guys? If you wanted to do just this, I don't know why you'd want to just do this, but you could make this bigger and, um, and it would be sort of cool, but... There you go. So now we're going to put together the uh, card itself and then we'll attach the pieces to it. So the card is a square card with a cutout of a um, of a cupcake there. So I chose this. This I had to create from scratch, but I will give you the file and you can have a look and then these are going to go this way and they do have um, a rounded edge so keep in mind but that's good because there are my hello kitties happily celebrating somebody's birthday which is awesome so I'm going to put that on the inside and this on the inside bottom And look at the, the kitty um, matches up the half of the face. <laughs> I couldn't get any luckier if I wanted to. Now, this part is optional. You can not, you can choose not to do it, but, but I did do it for this. I also um, decided, oh, maybe I'll use, so I started playing around with that. And uh, you can do it or you could not do it. But here is my sentiment on the front make a wish you see it cuts out in all these different pieces like that and because my background is green and this is green I think I will use this because I simply don't want it to like the make to sort of hide on that card so I'm going to just glue that on to the front Line it up. There we go. If you want this piece, you have to make it yourself, just so you know. And then we're just going to glue these little layered pieces together to make a very unique looking sentiment. I think tomorrow... I'm either going to do the snowflake one because it took forever to cut out on intricate cut setting. There's a lot of snowflakes. So um, I think I'll do that or I will do the dragon with the with the car, um, with the birthday cake. So you will get to see the assembly of those. So here's that. There's usually another piece. Oh, there it is. Here's the other piece. Oh, I could have gotten away with not putting that on there because it does have the brown offset layer. That's the thing I like about old images that they also include, they often include offset because we didn't get offset until recently. And so they would do this offset layer um, on the cartridges. So there we go, make a wish. Make a wish, and I'm also going to use my pop dots. So let me, um, I'm just going to use this little piece right here. Why not? Let's put it there.
Make sure it's not showing through on the front. Like, see, it's not showing. And I think one piece is enough. Okay, make a wish. Make a wish. All right, now all we need to do is to take our card, our, our um, cupcake, and again, you're gonna wanna train this a little bit. At first, it's going to be a little resistant, but when you're doing that, make sure you're not bending the pieces on the inside because bending is not so good with this. So I just, did I put this in the wrong way? Like that. Huh. No, I think this is the way it goes. I just don't want to bend it. Bend, bend. All right, you. Yeah, that's the way it's supposed to go. Okay. So then we're just going to glue the back of the circle just like this you could do this one piece at a time if you want but i'm lining it up to that fold as close to the fold as i can get it you see and then you can glue this other side and i like to do this fold it over on there just because it will catch it and grab it, then open up and sort of spread it out like this. Now, I mean, the first time you do this, the first two times or whatever, it's going to get a little bit weird. Um, and that is okay. Just have to kind of play around with it. And once you can get it sort of moving and closing correctly then you are done so there is there it is isn't that cute very cute especially if you're in an office and you cannot celebrate with a cake uh for somebody you want to make them a nice little card uh maybe your office or maybe at a school sometimes they don't allow cake or something so it's still not closing exactly the way I want it to, but I got to kind of live with it because <laughs> um, that's just that. This one doesn't seem like it's as sturdy as the balloon one, but it still looks pretty good. Um, it still looks pretty good, doesn't it? So there is that and there's the front of the card. Make a wish. Pretty cool, right? And... Believe it or not, that's it. That's all there is to this card. Um, except that there is an envelope. It's a really good envelope too. And I cut it out with this Hello Kitty paper. And also for the writing, I did use again this brand new bubble gum extra fine point pen set. I used this pink and this blue to do the um, lines. But I used the pink for the frosting. So um, I just used all this stuff that I got cheaply, very cheaply at, at Cricut. Um, again, I think that the, the paper was marked down to like three, possibly four dollars. And then, of course, you got my discount. If you use my link in my code this month, instead of a 10% off discount, you'll get 20% off. 20% off. And that is over and above any kind of discount that you will receive from, say, um, being an access member or anything like that. So it's a really good deal. And I would encourage you to get on there if you need uh, blades. And some people have asked me, is it okay to buy off market or off brand blades? And I will tell you, I have tried them. Um, and they are the, with the price. It's very enticing. I'm trying to look for mine. But to be honest, I always just buy these now because I found that the quality wasn't 
uh, perfect, but with these, they're, so I buy them in a five pack. Uh, at Cricut when they're on sale and they turn out to be just a couple of dollars. They're still more expensive than the off-brand ones, but they last a very, very long time. So you're not switching it out. With the off-brand, it's sort of like everything in life. When you buy the off-brand, like, or you buy it at the Dollar Tree store, you're like, hey, I got it for a dollar. No, no problem. But you, you open up the uh, aluminum foil and it's just like one sheet of aluminum foil. So it's good in a pinch, but it's it's not something you want um, to to be using all the time, and that's how I feel about the the um, the blades. So, um, so yeah, get on over. I'll put the link in to the description of um, where to buy from Cricut, and there's also all kinds of other affiliates. As I mentioned too um, yesterday, late I wanted to mention again. So. Um, I want to try to get more people on Patreon to support me. That would be real nice. And so um, if you find this is a useful uh, project or like I am a useful presenter to you, you might want to consider just signing up for a monthly contribution of $5 to my Patreon page. And then I can go out and buy all the silly little stuff that we all like to see. <laughs> um, and that would be awesome. Um, and so as an incentive, I, I've told people I'm not going to charge um, for anything. But what I thought was as an incentive, I'm going to take all my files that I have and put them in one place on Patreon. So if you hunt, you can find all the files. So it's not like I'm charging you for files, but this is going to make it way more convenient for somebody who maybe only watches the show once a week or hasn't been able to watch because they're working. They can go if they're a Patreon and find all the links to all the projects that I've done in one place. So if you are somebody that um, likes to do that, then, and you want to support me because I'm awesome. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not awesome. <laughs> um, but if you want to support me, uh, you can head on over to Patreon and pledge. It's like $5 a, yeah, I can set it up for $2. Yeah, sure. A, a three, I think is the minimum. Um, actually, so I can set up a $3 one. Yeah, sure. So $3 is the cost of a regular cup of coffee. So, um, if you feel, <laughs> thanks Randy. <laughs> so, um, so tomorrow we'll look for the, um, we'll either be doing the snowflake or we'll be doing the, uh, dragon. I want to do both of those this week. And then... Uh, on Saturday, I will post the links, but I think we're going to do those, those, um, arms, those wiggly, posable creatures from Dreaming Tree. Those would be fun to put on doors inside your house. Um, that would be fun to do. So I think I will do that. Um, all right, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. I am going to go. What's, that? What's an H-E-I-C attachment? H-E-I-C is simply an image that's been saved. It's like an energy efficient um, version of a JPEG or um, a GIF. So that I did see that question. Um, and, <laughs> oh, I appreciate whatever ever anybody does. So I do appreciate it. So, um, H-E-I-C is nothing to be afraid of. If you had trouble opening it, um, it I, I can change it to JPEG, but it's sort of an automatic response that, um, that the f iPhone operating system does when you have a lot of pictures. And right now I have like 7,000 pictures. So it's, just, so it's trying to make room for all my pictures kind of thing. All right, everybody, we'll see you again tomorrow. And I hope you have a lovely day. Um, and yeah, enjoy, enjoy it. Um, enjoy the day and we'll see you again tomorrow. Get some crafting in, okay? Take care. Bye. And happy birthday again to Mo. I will. Yeah, he went to sleep. I told him he could take a little nap because I have some after work that I have to do. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye.